You know, when I first listened to that song, I started crying. <laughs> I've heard it many times, actually, but uh, at the speech, I still cried because it's a very, very moving story. You know, very touching lyrics. 
um, actually you said the song was written expressing her, his feelings. Yeah. You were like standing in his shoes mm -hmm. trying to figure out what he was going through. Yeah. That's amazing. But actually you wrote the song dedicating it to him. Yes. You know, I, I don't think I can ever become a songwriter. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, how the words that you put in there. Mm. Yeah. But um, it, it's very, very touching. Yeah. So I heard that you've always want, liked singing. Yes. And you actually, even after the accident, you went to take some like songwriting or compo composition classes. Yes. You've got mm -hmm. a big dream for this. And that's why you decided to quit your job and go into singing. Yeah. Now, what, what did it take to make you do this, you know, make this decision? Because you're both like perfect, um, aiming for perfection. And you're always wondering, like, am I making the right decision? Yeah. You know, is this going to be good? Is this going to be right? <laughs> Ask him. Because <laughs> you're both A plus students. Even now, you're like, you know, of course, this this thing that happened has made you less of an A plus couple, and actually more real and down to earth, right? Yeah. So anyway, tell us, yeah, your thoughts and feelings and your decision in making this about singing as your life yeah before the uh, accident i love to sing i'm lo lo uh, love uh, singing all the time but uh, before the accident when i sing i will care oh am i good enough <laughs> you mean you don't think that anymore now <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> actually but after after uh, his accident i think music is a very strong power uh -huh. to heal uh, people and to comfort people mm -hmm. i find the power whenever uh, joshua is feeling painful mm -hmm. uh, in his uh, body mm -hmm. uh, he asked me to pray for him and sing for him mm. just sing holy songs the the uh, hymns mm -hmm. and he will feel relieved and mm. he could uh, feel the love from God so I I realized that wow music has such a power so um, I such think, a therapeutic power yeah right? therapeutic mm. power so I think mm. maybe it's my mission <laughs> to bring music to people in distress. Mm. So when a book is uh, planned to uh, publish, mm -hmm. I ask the editor if I could do some, some, uh, something, some music for the book. Um, uh, for example, I, I made a CD for the book. Mm -hmm. So uh, the editor uh, admitted me to uh, publish the book with the CD. Mm -hmm. So I really hope my CD and along with the book could um, comfort and encourage people in difficulty and distress. Well, now I want to know is that, of course, you've accepted, both of you, just the fate that has come upon, you know, Joshua, mm. you know, physically. How is it now um, that I'm sure you've accepted this fact and you're going to live with it, but reading a book, you go into details about what you go through from the moment you open your eyes and getting up in the morning mm. and then do all these things that your bodily needs, okay, and then having to live with this kind of, um, probably for the rest of your life. How do you feel? Because for us reading the book, we feel like, oh, we couldn't imagine living that kind of life. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that you guys are looking at it more positively. And besides, it seems like both of you are pretty humorous, especially Susan. Mm. <laughs> She's got a great sense of humor, right? Yeah. Um, I, I just wonder, how do you live with this, knowing that this is going to be part of your life for the rest of your life, probably? Mm. I think in the beginning, uh, I think it's a very frustrating experience. Um, uh, I, I, I almost spent all, my, all, all day long to, to take care of my body. I cannot do, I, I don't have any other effort to, to do other things. I have no um, leisure time. I cannot be productive in, as before. So it's very frustrating. Um, um, but I try to, uh, in, uh, in my faith, I try to rely on God. Maybe uh, He has a perf perfect plan for me. 
Yeah. The, the real perfect plan. The real perfect, <laughs> perfect plan. Not, not the world that is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I try to wait patiently and I try to focus what, I, what he has given me uh, at that moment. What I, what I explored inside myself, uh, um, my ability, my, my strength, I try to uh, use them. Because I like to uh, make a plan, as before, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I try to make a plan uh, in, in, in my situation. So I, I try to, um, every day I, um, I, I will try to focus on what I can do, maybe only a little pace. Uh, so you lower your expectation of yourself, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. And, uh, uh, I I I was uh, I was set, I, am, I was satisfied with what I have devoted in, in that day, uh, and uh, maybe maybe every day is different. Uh, some sometimes I, I I can find some progress, uh -huh. but in other in other days I feel some right. downhill. Um, but you have so, to tell yourself it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Ah. It's okay. Uh, uh, I, I find uh, when I wait, when I waited patiently, and uh, I I focused on what I can do, I I found this effort uh, piled piled up actually, mm -hmm. and uh, the effort, the results is uh, very uh, inspiring, mm -hmm. um, and uh, but talk about now still when I op open my eyes. Uh, um, I still, I think it's still very hard for me to face every day mm -hmm. because I, oh, what, uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, what I faced it was tiredness and uh, pain. Yeah. If uh, uh, open my, op open my eye, so I, I still, I, I was. Um, I was humble to make a prayer, to ask God to give me some strength to begin my day. Mm. So uh, every day I need to do this. But I I think um, uh, I I think I I was happier because uh, I felt even closer to God, uh -huh. and I think yeah even closer to people oh. around me. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Not okay. so not so lonely yeah. as before yeah so what a change yeah yeah, yeah. so Th these are things you never expected yeah. you know that would happen after the accident but yeah. because of it so many things unexpected that's happened in your life whether yeah. it's relationships or giving to people i mean you're giving more than you were able to give before right mm -hmm. Um, just to let our audience know, actually, Joshua has always been a psychiatrist, even before the accident. Mm. And for him to be able to go back to being a psychiatrist and practice, you know, what he's good at, it's amazing how you can give to people mm. sitting in a wheelchair and still, mm. you're, you're giving, you're helping more, your patients this yeah. way. Um, and also with your experience and you're kind of like in their shoes, you know exactly how to help them. Mm. Instead of usual orders like, take this pill and mm. do that and that's it. Okay, see you next week, you know, mm -hmm. right? Well, what about Susan? What about you? You know, um, now you're the wife of, um, of a patient mm. and this is gonna be a lifetime thing. Mm. What, how do you look at this now? Of course you have a good sense of humor, but I mean, <laughs> real, real feelings inside. Yeah, I think um, it's really hard for me, uh, especially I, I uh, once out chi ku. No, you've <laughs> never my, had any hardships my, yeah, even yeah, during your my, childhood. From my childhood. childhood. Mm. So it's really a very hard homework, life homework for me. But I try to accept it as uh, also a lesson and a gift from 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 God. Yeah, because uh, I think uh, just like uh, Joshua said that. Uh, uh, he had more experience uh, from the accident till now. Mm -hmm. He uh, received more um, more help and more relationship is um, 
around him, yeah. I also feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I, I think uh, it's like uh, my eyes is opened, uh -huh. and I see another world, and I think, wow, I could live so well. Oh. Also, <laughs> although um, not uh, the same like before, but I can live so well, and I can. Um, um, I think I'm more grateful mm -hmm. and not taking for granted for everything I have. Uh -huh. Even uh, just like I can walk, yeah. I know that it's a gift. Uh -huh. And because I saw too many people in the hospital, they lose the very basic function of their life. So that remind me that I really have so many things. So wow. I'm really grateful. Oh, okay. I learned the lesson of grateful. It's a matter of attitude, attitude. right? Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of having the right attitude. Yeah. Actually, Joshua, maybe even right now, as he's receiving this you know, interview, you're probably feeling some pain going through your body, right? Yeah. This is what he never thought that you, know, that you would experience after the accident is this pain that kind of comes and goes unexpectedly throughout your body throughout the day. Mm. Now, I, I don't know how you deal with that. And there was one thing that you wrote in the book that I know that you don't have any feelings from your, kind of like from your heart down, mm. but you were, you were explaining or yeah, describing a kind of pain which is like feeling your foot, uh, your, the, the, the toes of, your, of the toe, the big toe, being pulled up, pulled out the again and again and again. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't understand. You don't have any feelings down, but why do you feel that? It's mm. this telling you? Yeah. That is... <laughs> but <Misunderstanding> then... <laughs> of his head. Misunderstanding <laughs> about... <laughs> I see. So it's getting the wrong message. Yeah. But, yes. but, but you're signal. getting this kind of signal all the time throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, very suffer. You know, you, several times throughout the book, you've said you're thankful that you still have your upper body and a head. But at this moment, it's like, you are thankful for the head, but then the head is giving you wrong messages about yeah, yeah, all this yeah. pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's give and take, right? Pros yeah. and cons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. But um, I was thinking, are you, what, what are your plans together now? Is it to continue to just give speeches and you continue to sing? Um, I, I see that, you know, you've got it all structured out the way you gave the speech. You, you kind of talked for half an hour and then Susan would sing a song. And then you talk for another hour, and then Susan will end with a song. Is this what you're going to do again and again and again? It gets tiring, doesn't it? <laughs> Would it get tiring? <laughs> I, I, I think... Um, yeah, what do you want to do? I try to... Uh, I, I think it's not, it's not uh, my... I'm not familiar with this uh, speech experience before this accident. Oh, really? Uh, when I was a psychiatrist, Nobody asked me to deliver a speech, <laughs> but when I was a patient, so <laughs> more and more speech yeah. uh, come. But uh, I think uh, uh, I think uh, what happened to me is a rare and precious experience. I want to share with uh, everybody because I uh, what I see in their eyes, uh, what they uh, after speech they re they feedback feedback me mm. about. Uh, how how uh, great, uh what, how how they appreciate okay. they they found uh, yeah. their blessings in their life. Oh. So I try to focus on. Uh, I think every speech uh, I face a different audience, mm -hmm. yeah. and I try to give everybody their own gift. Okay. Maybe I deliver similar message, but I think in different body, okay. uh, different. Uh, body they got uh, their own their own inside yeah. to their life okay. so I, 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 I still I still uh, enjoy enjoy this. enjoy this yeah. yeah wow thank you so much I hope you continue to enjoy what you're doing because obviously you already found ways to find joy and thankfulness in your lives together despite this accident yeah. And uh, thank you so much for the book. It's, I'm sure it's a great inspiration yeah. for a lot of people, even for normal people like me. Yeah. And um, to end off today's interview, I want to share another song that Susan sang also at the speech uh, the other day. 
It's apparently a song that's Joshua's favorite. Well, yeah. also obviously it's your favorite too. What's the name of the song? Mm -hmm. the, path path grace. Grace. the path of grace. It's a gospel yeah. song. So, yeah. well, we're gonna listen to that song. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> thank you for watching, people. I'm Shirley Lin. Chan 